Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy from Van On Company. It's Tuesday, June 11th. I'm going to go over the markets with you. USDA crop report today, and typically they err on the side of caution. Not the case today here. They came in here and they really decided to be aggressive for this corn market. They took corn yield from 176 bushel per acre down to 166. So they took 10 bushel per acre off of that. Now, most people were expecting the friendliest part of corn would be an acre number, but it turned out to be the yield reduction that they started off the bat. They did also decrease your acres, 3 million bushel, and a lot of people expecting it to be more. So there could be even more friendly atmosphere around this market come June 28th when they give us a final acre number for this corn market. So a lot of friendliness into this market came in here. You did have them start to ration the demand side of things, took it totally down, 400. 25 million bushel that came off a 300 million bushel decrease to feed and then a 125 million bushel decrease to export sales that feed number might be a little bit aggressive there um, as you are building production they came and added some of it back into the wheat feed increase in there but overall um, that's a pretty aggressive cut when you look at that feed use they did leave ethanol alone came in here with a, um, a carryout level of just over 1.6 billion bushel carryout that is about an 800 million bushel decrease here from last month. So a lot of friendly atmosphere. Uh, when you look over the soybean market, that was not friendly, but it didn't want to follow suit with the corn market, so stayed supported. Uh, but what you got out of there is a 75 million bushel increase to old crop carryout for soybeans, and that just flowed through. They decided not to change anything for supply or demand on new crop, and so you saw that 75 million bushel kind of float through and increase carryout levels for next year by 75 million bushel. Uh, really, so overall, the, the soybean market wanted to stay up with corn, corn market up 12 cents on the day, soybeans up three quarters of a cent, wheat market kind of mixed when you look at it, Minneapolis up a penny, Kansas City up four cents, Chicago wheat up 10 and a half cents, so your most support there. When you look over the meat markets, light support and live cattle, feeder cattle got hit hard here probably with that rallying corn market, and then lean hogs anywhere from about a buck 50 to 285 lower, so a lot of pressure there. Outside markets were relatively quiet, so the biggest question moving forward is can we control this? Can we continue this rally into the corn market? You've really set a very friendly tone to finish off the month of June and make it to this June 28th crop report. You'll be watching to see where soybeans are. There's still a huge planting problem when you look at them, especially that eastern corn belt. Their seven day forecast does look extremely wet, Ohio, Indiana, uh, and that'll be the question of whether or not they will be able to get it in. You are opening up things, however, for the Dakotas, for Minnesota, parts of Iowa, um, really shouldn't have too much of a problem getting the rest of that soybean planted unless you're heavily saturated from before. Uh, so we'll be watching that to see what's to come. And then honestly, you did not get any friendly news out of beans. See if they're able to keep up with this corn market. I do have to close with the disclaimer, trading futures and options of all risk loss is not suitable for all producers. This is a solicitation. Have a great day.